everyone, my name is Yashi Priya and welcome to another sketchbook tour. So this is actually a sketchbook that I started in October last year, uh, 2022. And it was um, initially for my Inktober, the first time I've taken part in Inktober. And I started off with Inktober sketches or drawings and then I moved on to other illustrations. And then I started experimenting with different mediums and color and everything in here. So it's not only ink, it's going to be a lot of different uh, mediums and different um, experimental pieces as well and a lot of color um, towards the second half of it so let's get into today's sketchbook tour so starting off um, this page was actually done a little later after i already started in October. i wasn't sure what to do for my uh, beginning page i started the sketchbook on the 3rd of october 2022 uh, so i had three days to catch up with inktober and then i completed it on the 27th of january 2023 so um, and this sketchbook, I didn't really know what to do on the front cover, so I just saw the front inside cover. So I just did some uh, doodling and of ink bottles, calligraphy ink, um, a calligraphy brush, or calligraphy, calligraphy pen, um, of some brushes, pencils, a book, a palette, and I just did all of this with um, bottle ink. Uh, that's the black and blue. So. That was the first page. You don't have to finish. This took about four months to complete. You don't have to finish the sketchbook um, in four months. It can even take you a couple of years. I usually work in multiple sketchbooks, so I have them usually um, finishing around the same time. Sometimes not. It depends on how much I work in it, but I have different sketchbooks for different purposes. So moving right on, um, you can see I've put all the Inktober and then 2022, and then I put all the prompts on the one page. And then I started to draw all the prompts out. So I started off with a gargoyle and then I moved on to scurry. And then you can see I've got bat. And then scallop. And then we have a flame. A flame I decided to draw uh, hands holding a candle with a lit uh, flame burning or lit candle. And then you have bouquet, then we've got trip, and then we've got match, then we have a nest, crabby, eagle, and then we have forget, so someone forgot to wear one of their socks. And then I've got a kind, and sorry, then we've got empty and armadillo, a fowl, salty, we've got scrape, we've got ponytail, and then day 20 was bluff, this was a difficult one to come up with, and then a bad dog was the next one, so I drew a dog with a shoe in his mouth, um, heist, and booger, then I've got fairy and tempting and then I've got ego and snack and then we've got camping and then the next prompt was uh oh which I've got a pot with the milk over boiling and spilling over and then we've got gear and farm so those are the prompts for Inktober and that was my Inktober sketches um, I must say it was fun doing Inktober, uh, this was my first time doing Inktober or taking part in it and I really was challenged to draw things that I normally wouldn't draw and uh, think of ideas that uh, and be more creative where you get just a word and you have to think how you're going to interpret that word and um, drawing things that I honestly never would have drawn. So this was a really fun um, a draw, a drawing process so for the entire month of October I caught up with the first three days and then I just every day I had all the sketches done and then I just inked them every day and then I also during October while I was doing the Inktober I just did my own little list of Halloween uh, drawings that I wanted to do so I just made a list of little things that I wanted to draw for Halloween and these were done from imagination and I was just sitting with uh, my uh, pencil and then inking everything um, and just drawing um, in the evenings so you see it says uh, the first one was magic book or book of magic. Then I've drawn this little ghost. And then I've got a tombstone, a jack-o'-lantern, a grim reaper, 
Okay, I've got a haunted house. And then I've got a coffin with a hand coming out and maybe some worms in there. And then I've got a cauldron, a witch's hat, witch's broom, some sweets, and then a potion bottle, and even a bottle of poison. And then you've got all these little things coming out from the cauldron. And um, then I've got a skull. And then I've got a spider and a spider web. Then on this side I've got a mummy and a raven. On this side I've got a crystal ball. And then I have a vampire. And finally I drew a werewolf. So those are also things that I normally wouldn't draw. Some of them I would, some of them I wouldn't. But I just felt like drawing them because it was uh, Halloween and um, I wanted to just draw some illustrations for Halloween. And I did combine some of those and create the... Uh, illustrated page um, for Halloween so yeah those are little illustrations where I drew them and then I added color to them but yeah this is where they originated in my sketchbook so from here on I did a lot of uh, experimentation uh, working with different media so I used a watercolor I've used ink I've used um, gouache acrylic so I've done a lot of even color pencils so I've used a lot of different media and I was surprised at how well this paper took the media and I was happy that I could work back uh, the back to back usually I only draw on the one side of the page so I was happy that I could work back to back and nothing shows through and the paper doesn't really warp that much uh, with a lot of uh, wet media on it so um, I was surprised at that but I was very happy with it too so I started off uh, also I got to use a lot of different colors which um, and a lot of colorful pieces so I was very happy with that so I started off by doing this drawing of this cupboard and I uh, just uh, used black and blue ink for this illustration I thinned out the black to get the gray and then I went on and did a, a tiki statue a little tiki statue this was done with ink and then I also used some color pencils and then here this was a, a lorry or a little truck that I drew with uh, fine liners as well as some ink tents the paint pan set I used that and then I've got the next page now this page was actually blank, there was nothing on it for a long time, so I just filled it with a few words and splashes of color. Um, inspiration finds you working, and then I wrote, um, the more you create, the more inspired you'll be to create. Um, so that definitely is true, as you start working your sketchbook, you'll see you want to create more and more, and you won't be scared of the blank page anymore. Um, so this was an acrylic painting that I did, and I didn't prime the paper, I just went straight in with the acrylics and it really held up well. Um, this was of a red cardinal and yeah this was a fun piece also and I was really surprised at how well the paper took the acrylic of it, even though I did multiple layers it didn't really warp and then I went over and started doing some doodling patterns now um, I worked with my fine liner and I want to always practice um, different doodling uh, techniques so I went ahead and did these little blocks and I tried all different patterns and techniques that you can use to fill up uh, blank spaces or spaces in your doodles so that's what I was practicing over here and then I went ahead and did a little doodle I didn't really use much of um, this uh, these patterns on this it was just a random I wrote the word doodle and then I just started drawing random things like clocks books a lock a flamingo balloons uh, just random things flowers pencils just drawing random things and writing random uh, words and that was just what I did for this doodle page with a fine liner then I went over and this was a piece that I did you will see later on I will show you at the end of the book I have stuck it in I initially did this on a craft paper with a fine liner and then I used acrylic paint but in this case I used a fine liner and drew all the buildings and then I used uh, washes of watercolor around it just to give it a bit of color so that was what I experimented with on here and then I did a dragon. I don't usually draw dragons, but this was from imagination. And then I just did some words at the bottom in different types of writing, uh, just practicing my typo typography. So that was that. And then on this page, I was experimenting, working with a white jelly roll a pen on black paper. And um, I really liked how some of these little drawings turned out on that paper. So I just cut out all the little doodles that I liked and I stuck them in my uh, sketchbook. This is another dragon, there's a snowflake, and then although this was done in December, I just put my birthday, which is 11 November, and then I just wrote a couple of words here, doodle, create, inspire, art, and dream. I liked how it looks, so I just stuck it in as well. 
And then this little scene of this winter scene with these little trees and the snow falling, a little cottage and then these gates in the front. So this was just a little fun piece that I was doing, all little doodles that I was doing, but I wanted to include it in my sketchbook. And then this was a, a drawing I did with a fine liners color pencil on a toned paper. This is tan uh, color toned paper. And I drew the bird um, and the branch with uh, fine liners and then I went over it with color pencil. So that was this drawing. The next one was also um, similar to the one I previously showed you. It was an ink drawing and then I used color pencils just to add the background and add some color to the uh, windows. And um, yeah, that was also on toned paper. And then I just wrote a little um, note on the side, um, just for motivation and to inspire me and just to get me in a positive mood to create. Uh, if ever I come across this page again, um, it says work hard and follow your dreams. And then I wrote here, be grateful for what you have in the present. This will bring you joy and happiness while you work towards achieving all your dreams and ambitions. Art is a form of meditation. The more you create, the more inspired you'll be to create even more. Enjoy and trust the process of creating art. This is more important than the final result. So uh, that's just a little message I put there for myself. Um, but I'm sure it can help any of you maybe if you are creating. Um, on this page here, I've just done some doodling. Uh, there was some writing and then I just drew over everything. Butterflies, clock, uh, feathers, birds. Um, bird cage key I just drew some random things a little bicycle uh, just some random things I drew and I just kept drawing one on top of the other it was just an experiment of something I was trying out and then on this page I did the same thing uh, but I did it with the Eiffel Tower and some books and a clock feathers again butterflies a key but I added washes of color and then this one also was another experimental one um, I added color to paint all these little designs that I doodled and um, yeah, I did have a bit of an issue with some of it. Um, the fine liner that I used uh, did uh, get smeared with watercolor a bit, but yeah, that's what this page was. Just a doodling page. And then on uh, the next one was a scene that I had. Uh, this was a royalty free reference photo that I had of a scene in Mexico. So I just felt like this spoke to me and it was like so colorful and bright and I wanted to um, interpret it. So I went ahead and I drew everything in with a fine liner and then I went in with watercolors and I drew uh, painted over everything and added colors so you can see there's a lot of uh, the water the buildings the um, little boats on the shore on the beach and then I've got these flowers on close-up so it was a really a fun piece to do and I really like how it turned out it's very colorful and then uh, on the next page I just did something from imagination although I did use some references for some of the coral uh, it's an underwater scene of a sea turtle and some jellyfish. Um, so I created the image in my mind and some, some starfish and shells and things. So I just drew uh, random things and created this underwater scene. Um, but I left it without color because I didn't want to risk um, spoiling the image. And I thought it looked nice the way it was. So I left it in just the fine liners. Now the next page is a uh, ink uh, done with ink, uh, bottle ink. I used bottle ink to do this as well as some gold acrylic paint. Uh, this is of the Om symbol and I just wanted to create a um, beautiful design around it. So I started doodling with my fine liner and I started off drawing the symbol and then I started drawing all these little flowers around it and flower petals and then doing these little doodles. And then I went in afterwards with uh, the ink and then I colored everything in. Um, I also added um, some a white a jelly roll for the white uh, little dots and then obviously the the ohm symbol itself was done with gold and I also added some gold accents around the entire image. So this was a very a fun, relaxing um, piece to do. Then this one on the side was a um, little uh, draw painting that I did. It didn't take me that long. It was just a quick uh, painting with, uh, I drew a fine liner with the lantern and I just did some watercolor uh, painting around the flower, the bird, the tree. So it was just a quick um, watercolor painting. And then on this page, I wanted to try something uh, different. So I started off with uh, some ink and my stamp, uh, stamp or my music note stamp. And I stamped the entire page. Then I went in with watercolors and I just added a uh, border. And then I painted in these flowers and the bird. I painted in the word nature and this butterfly. I wasn't very happy with the butterfly, but that's just how it turned out. So as I said, every page is not perfect and it is an experimental piece, so it's fine. 
and um, then I did this one as well this was a quick uh, painting with watercolors and I think I did use a little bit of color pencil in there as well just of some flowers nothing too detailed uh, just a fun time just creating in my sketchbook now the next one I did was uh, this uh, drawing of uh, someone with this little headpiece on and I wrote the word nature you can see all the flowers around and this was something I just did from my mind, from my imagination. It just was sitting down uh, one evening and just doodling and this is what I came up with. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to do a lot of um, things that I can try to work from my imagination. So this was a fun piece as well to do. The next one that I did was a drawing of a butterfly. Now this was done with fine liners. Initially I drew it with graphite and then I used the fine liners and then I just added washes of watercolor and then I also used some color pencil in there as well and uh, some white jelly roll just for the highlighted areas. And then uh, afterwards I just wrote the word freedom at the bottom and I put those little doodles. Um, that's just because I felt at that moment, uh, you know, butterflies are free. They can go wherever they want to. They can fly to any place they want to. And that's just what inspired the word freedom. Um, just to be really free. And be free in my sketchbook. Be free and just create. And not have any worries about what I'm creating. So that was that piece. Now the next piece was a little bigger piece that I created. It's a double spread. Now this one was uh, done with um, gouache. Now I use gouache for this one and I also use some color pencil that, that was just to um, create some of those details and get it to really uh, pop and um, to add a little bit more saturation to the colors. So uh, yeah, this was the uh, piece that I did. Uh, it's just of a statue um, in the middle of a jungle with a waterfall and the reflection of the statue in the water and the little plants and foliage and trees around. So it was a really fun piece uh, to do. Um, I really enjoyed doing that piece of uh, this piece because I really like uh, anything jungle themed so yeah I like a lot of different things and this was definitely one that I was happy with um, especially with the reflection on the water and then the little light reflecting on the water as well. So the next one I did was also another favorite in the sketchbook. Uh, this was of a carousel horse. Uh, this was done with watercolors as well as color pencil. And I used a white jelly roll to get all the white highlights for the shine of the carousel horse. Because carousel horses are plastic, so they do have a lot of shine to them. So I really am proud of this piece and I was really happy with how it turned out. And it's very colorful. So this was definitely one that I enjoyed working on. And then this one, um, the color pencil really works well over the watercolor and I was really impressed by that because it really brings everything together and really brings that saturation in. And then this was just a page that I wanted to just felt like creating, I felt like painting. Um, I didn't have anything in mind so I just started painting and this is what came up. I, I didn't use, um, I have a reference photo, I just from my mind I just was thinking of, of a hummingbirds and hummingbirds are the colorful ones that are uh, pinks and greens and I already da I've done um, a bigger piece where I did a hummingbird um, in my other sketchbook uh, with um, ink I did those ones um, I think I did a green and blue one as well so I didn't want to put blue in there so I left it green and pink and then I've got the um, brown wings and then I did some flowers and just some splashes and paints of brush strokes of color so this was just a very clear, explosive colorful page I uh, just wanted to get some paint onto paper, um, didn't use anything else, just paint and I started painting and this was what the image looked like, just random flowers, whatever came to my mind I just put down on paper. So this is what it came out to. And then the next one I did was this little drawing of a pathway going or painting a pathway in the middle of the woods. Uh, you can see the pathway, some places are lit up with the sunlight showing through the trees and the trees are casting shadows across and the foliage around and the little white flowers. So this was also a very fun piece to create. Um, I believe I used uh, gouache for this piece. So this was really, really uh, fun to um, do as well. Very relaxing to look at um, just a pathway going into nature. So it was very fun to do. And Okay, so this is another drawing that I did. This was done with color pencil and this was of a cat. Um, and I used just uh, the uh, Chromaflows pencils for the for this uh, drawing. I didn't use any blending mediums or any uh, mineral spirits or anything like that. I just drew with the 
um, color pencil and that's the drawing. Again, but just a quick drawing with color pencil. And I did do an initial sketch uh, for guide guidelines uh, for my uh, graphic uh, with the graphite uh, pencil. And then I went over with the color pencil. So the next one I've got is of this uh, little puppy. This was just a graphite drawing that I did um, of a puppy. A quick sketch. Um, didn't take me too long. It took me a couple of maybe about 15 minutes or so, 20 minutes. I'm not too sure. But I just drew uh, this little uh, quick sketch because um, I haven't done any pure graphite drawings in the sketchbook. So I felt just do a graphite drawing um, in the sketchbook. So I did a quick uh, session where I sat down and just sketched. And this is what I came up with. And then I've got uh, this little painting and this was done with watercolors and fine liners. I did all the drawings of all the buildings, the fine liner, and then I went over with uh, washes of watercolor. Um, this was just, I'm not sure where this is, but this was a royalty free reference photo that I found. But my favorite part about it, not only being colorful, but I like how the, all the reflections of the colors of the buildings are in the water. So um, that's what I really like about this piece. And also the shadows of the boats. I think that's what catches my eye when I look at this piece. Um, but yeah, that was that one. And now we're on to the final page of the sketchbook. And the final page was um, something that I didn't really know what to do on the last page. I didn't want to do something too complex or too complicated or too detailed. I wanted to just end it on a very calm, relaxing uh, note. So I just went in with some watercolors. I added splashes of watercolors and brush strokes of watercolors. And then I did uh, wrote with uh, some fine liners. I just wrote some words to promote positivity and um, inspiration and motivation to create. So you can see the words that I wrote down are in different types of writing is gratitude, goals, positivity, calm, dream, happiness, love life, uh, freedom, love, relax, fun, peace, smile, and joy. So that's just, uh, just words that um, came to me and words that I really like to uh, think about. Uh, and obviously I just added some color with watercolors around and yeah, and some splashes of paint. So that was what the final page was. And then this was actually the inspiration I was telling you about for those buildings I did earlier on. Uh, this was with craft paper where I did a fine liner drawing uh, of the buildings and then I went over with uh, all around it with some um, acrylic paint for the background and uh, these were the trial ones that I did but I liked how it came out so I just didn't want to lose it so I just cut up that piece and I stuck it into my sketchbook and then this was just a, a little piece that I painted over with acrylics I liked how the acrylics blended into one another and I wrote the word art on it uh, in black fine liner um, you can't really see the word that clearly but yeah this was just uh, something that I wanted to just uh, keep in my sketchbook because I don't want to uh, lose it but yeah that was the final page or well, this was stuck long a long time ago but yeah this one is the final page and that is the end of another sketchbook tour now um, definitely I would always um, recommend if anybody wants to start a sketchbook keep one uh, whether you are a professional artist whether you're a beginner whether you intermediate does not matter which stage of your art career you're in or your art um, journey just I would always recommend keeping a sketchbook I never kept a sketchbook before but I believe this is my sixth sketchbook that I've completed so um, yeah I've really learned a lot from keeping sketchbooks and it really teaches you a lot because you can get to practice you can get to try out new mediums you get to try out different mixed media experiment with diff different things and uh, sometimes just have fun and relax and just paint and draw for yourself just enjoy yourself and create in your sketchbook so i would highly recommend keeping a sketchbook even if it's for just some quick sketches with graphite pencil it's fine you don't have to have paintings and every page doesn't have to be perfect uh, like you saw in my book some of the pages are not perfect but they're part of my sketchbook and i learn something from those pages even if i don't really like them i still learn from them so Definitely um, keep a sketchbook and I think you will really um, benefit. There's a lot of benefits from keeping one and you will learn a lot as well. And it will also help you with your bigger pieces and your paintings and your other drawings that you do. So keeping it is definitely, uh, keeping a sketchbook is definitely going to be beneficial to you. So I guess that's it for this video. I hope I inspired you to go out and create and get a little sketchbook and just start working in it. 
um and yeah so i think that's it for this video so thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to like and share feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe till the next one bye